Quick story about the time I had dinner with Beyonce. So it was 22 years ago, August 3rd, 2000. Veronica and Vanessa were about four years old. So I got a call to do what's called a satellite media tour. The satellite media tour was for Christina Aguilera's world tour kickoff. So basically what that means is that we set up a camera, cameras, do a satellite uplink and down to all these different um, media outlets all over the world. And they were doing interviews with Christina talking about her um, launching her world tour. It was a big deal. She was huge in 2000. She still is a very big star. So after we did all this work, it was around dinner time and they invited us to stay for the concert and we had uh, backstage passes so we could kind of go wherever we wanted to go. There was a green room backstage and it was massive. It was just one big green room and there was a buffet set up and round tables everywhere, okay? So we walk in, we go through the buffet, we sit down at one of the last tables available and there was only three of us at the time. So there was just a few seats at that table left. So we sit down and we start having dinner and then in walks these three young ladies that you could tell they were something. And um, they come in, some people greet them. They were all smiles. They were very, very friendly to everybody that they came into contact with. They got their plate and they walked through the buffet and put food on their plate. And then they were looking around for a place to sit and our table had space. So they sat down across from us. We introduced ourselves, just very, very, very minimal conversation that we had. And, um, we had to be done a little earlier, so we, we finished and, and left. And I didn't think much of it, honestly. I didn't know who they were. I didn't know anything about them because at that time, Veronica and Vanessa were, they were four years old. So my head was, my music was Barney. That was it. And some VeggieTales. That's, that's all we listened to was, was kids stuff. So the next day, Wendy just asked me, she was like, so how did it go? Because she, you know, I was going to get to meet Christine Aguilera, all right? So um, I told her all about it. Said it was great. You know, had a little interaction with her. You know, the satellite media tour went great. She did great. It was just, it was a good experience. And then I told her about the whole, my whole story that I just told you, that these, these three young women walked in. They were all dressed the same. They were wearing, you know, they were just, they were all dressed the same, they went through the buffet, and, and they sat across from us and had dinner. And she goes, oh my gosh, Paul, that was Destiny's Child. They're opening for Christina Aguilera. And I was like, who's that? <laughs> so Wendy immediately, like, pulls up some music, shows me a music video, and I was like, that's them. And that was the first time I'd ever heard of Destiny's Child and Beyonce. That experience, that encounter with Destiny's Child and Beyonce really did have an impact on me. After they started, they just blew up after that. Destiny's Child just launched into the world. And then of course, Beyonce, just an amazing, amazing musician, artist, singer, vocalist, dancer, actress, all of those things. All of that happened after. And so every time I think about that story, I think about this, the time that I saw Beyonce go through a buffet and get her own meal and sit down across the table from me. And I just started thinking about that experience and I started thinking about what her journey must have been like up to that point. And it showed me what she was willing to do to be successful. There is a whole story that everyone has missed and it's out there. Obviously, people know her story, that she's worked incredibly hard. There was hours and hours and hours of work that she did honing her craft that we never saw. And so as I look back on, on that moment and seeing where she is now, I feel like a lot of people in our, in our world right now look at very, very successful people and don't think about their story how they, the things they had to do to get to where they needed to go, just like Beyonce. The point of this whole story <clears throat> is one, it was kind of cool, but really it was, it was more about how it, how it impacted me, how it impacts me now, because I've seen what the success that she's had and just thinking about her journey and probably all the, all the rejection and all the things that she faced as she was trying to build her career. And that's what people don't see. 
That's what people don't ever see, no matter what the industry is. If you are successful in entertainment or in business, there is a risk that you take. There is an investment you make that no one will ever see. People only see what is today. They only see Beyonce today. And I got a little sneak peek before all of that happened. It showed me that people who are trying to achieve something have to be dedicated, have to consistently work at it. And I'm so thankful for that moment in my life that I had dinner with Beyonce and that we both went through the same buffet line. Here's the thing is there's lessons in life everywhere if you'll look for them. You'll learn something from everybody that you come into contact with. If you look for it, if you're willing to be open, I think about our journey with my daughters and all of the, all of the times that it was very scary to move out here. You know, we didn't know anyone and it was quite a journey and that's a whole nother video. But I feel like seeing other people's experiences and seeing what they've done and what they've achieved encourages you to keep going. And just remember that you, your mountain is not the same mountain that someone else is climbing. I never, I never like to judge someone based on their success. I love to, I love to know their journey and understand where they came from and where they are today. And you, you measure that person by all of that stuff in between and who they are. And you, and you begin to understand their story didn't just happen like that. She didn't just achieve success like that. There was all of this incredibly hard work that she had to do to get to where she is today. I'm not like a diehard Beyonce fan, but I love her story. I love the fact that I got just that little sneak peek into, into her life, that little sneak peek even into Destiny's child's life. And it taught me something that was very, very valuable. And um, I don't care if you like your music, you don't have to, but you do have to respect the hard work that she put in to develop her craft, to be who she is today. So uh, Beyonce, thank you for having dinner with me. So my hope in sharing you this story is just to remind you that it's a journey, life's a journey, and to not give up on your dreams and to keep working hard. Life goes by really quick. That was 22 years ago was that story. You know, if you have a dream, if you have something you want to achieve, it's gonna take investment of your time and resources and you're gonna get rejected and you're gonna, you're gonna feel like you're not being successful and it's never gonna come. But if you just keep going and keep working and, and keep your focus, you'll achieve success. All right, there it is. So if you like that story, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for all the stuff you do for us. You guys are amazing. Thanks for listening. And I hope, hope this story helped you. And um, go listen to Beyonce.